Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have a review of the new NARS foundation. This is the Light Reflecting Advanced Skin Care Foundation. It looks super interesting to me. There's so many foundations that have launched recently and I definitely wanted to test this one out now. I'm on the unpopular side here where the last few foundations that NARS has come out with, honestly, I've really disliked. So I'm very interested to see how I think about this, but honestly, it looks promising. It really does. So like I said, this is the Light Reflecting Advanced Skin Care Foundation. It is going to be $49. I picked mine up from Sephora. It comes in the classic black box. And here are the ingredients if you need to take a look. You can see that it has a 24-month shelf life and the foundation is made in the USA. Looks like they have a great range of shades. NARS normally does. This is supposed to give a medium coverage with a natural finish. Good for redness, okay, have some redness. Good for dullness and uneven texture and dark spots. And it's supposed to be a makeup and skincare hybrid foundation, which we love to hear that. We love to nourish our skin with a natural finish that blurs and smooths while visibly improving skin's clarity over time. I mean, it doesn't sound better than that, right? I love the component itself. It's just so simple, classic NARS. I like the shape of it. You do get a fluid ounce, which is very standard. I got the shade Patagonia. I've never tried the shade Patagonia. I normally always accidentally go too light with my NARS foundation, so I thought I'd go deep, and it says shake well. So I'm shaking well. So if you're new here on my skin type, I have normal to dry skin. It's currently leaning more dry now that it is winter, but I did extra hydrate today. So my skin is not feeling too dry today, but I'm not oily. <laughs> I have very sensitive acne prone skin. You can see right now I'm dealing with some residual acne scarring. All right, let's test this baby out on my eyes right now, by the way. I'm testing out the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Eyes to Mesmerize. Terrible. Honestly, don't recommend. Nobody asked for that, but I'm just letting you guys know. So let's see what the pump looks like here. Boom. Okay, that came out with nothing. Second pump. All right, sorry, I have some black from the eyes to mesmerize. All right, let's see how it goes on my acne. Ah, this is a decent shade. Might be a little bit dark on me, but, but that's okay. Ah, I think I could have gotten a shade lighter. Let's see, I'm using my Shop Miss AOA sponge because that's just the way I prefer to apply foundations. And we'll use a brush on the other side though, just in case. I always get the shade Fiji from NARS though. I'm, I just looked at the shades. I always get the shade Fiji and I feel like Fiji is always too light for me. So I thought Patagonia would be good, but it is just a little dark. Okay, so you can definitely see it has a natural glowy finish. And I would say a lighter medium coverage because you can definitely see my acne scarring and whatnot underneath. Uh, let's give it a try with a brush to blend it out. I'm gonna use my favorite foundation brush, which is the Refer number 31 brush. So let's get two squirts because <laughs> you really don't get much foundation with each squirt. I'm gonna spread it out. Now this side of my face has less to cover. I do like to spread foundation with my fingers first. I feel like that's how I get the most even coverage on my face. And then I'm using the brush to push it into the skin. Oh yeah, lots more coverage when you use a brush. So if you're looking for that, this is a foundation where that style of application does seem to make a pretty big difference. This foundation has quite a liquidy consistency. Oh my gosh, it's starting to look orange on me. Maybe I should have gotten Fiji. Whatever. I think, you know, this foundation has quite a liquidy consistency, which I think is making the brush application so much easier. It's so easy to push around with the brush that it doesn't make it look streaky. So I think I actually do prefer the application with a brush on here because it is really agreeing with that. A little bit on my neck. I'm going to apply a little bit more on this side and on my nose area as well. While the shade looks a little tragic right now, move into the sunshine state pretty soon. I should get more color anyways, and then this will be a perfect match for me. But not in the dead of winter. Oh yeah, and it does layer well also, so you get a little bit more coverage with that second coat, but it's not going to go past a medium coverage, I would say. This is the finish of a foundation that I love. This medium coverage with a 
natural finish. Ooh, I already think hopefully this wears well. This is probably gonna be my favorite NARS foundation. Love the way that this looks on my skin. Now you can see it does, I wanna say it's emphasizing my pores, but because of that natural finish, it certainly isn't blurring them. Nonetheless though, you guys, it looks super duper pretty. I'm gonna fast forward through the rest of my face application so you can see the products that I am using on top. But here is how it looks. Brush application for sure is my favorite. It's settling into the skin beautifully. Oof. Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> Okay guys, here is the foundation with everything set. I have to say, I completely forgot how amazing the NARS Soft Matte Concealer was. The concealer is what really helped blur the pores in this area, but my skin looks amazing. This is the exact type of foundation that I personally love for every day. Oh my gosh, please hold up, please wear well because my skin looks so good. With the powder, you can see a lot of the glow went away, but that's okay. Hopefully it comes back as the day goes on. I feel like my skin looks really soft and really pretty. So really like this. It's held up with the medium coverage after I powdered and everything. I'm gonna quickly shift over to a little bit of sunlight so you can see how it looks in front of my window. And here's how the foundation looks in natural sunlight in front of the window on my iPhone. Seriously, it looks so good. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea how much I hope this stays and wears good because it looks... Mm, mm. It's looking good, guys. I'm telling you. It is pretty late. It's about 3.30, so I would say I got the foundation on at about 3. So I will catch up with you guys in a few hours. I'm going to go for a walk. I might do some Pilates, I don't know. But I have a lot of things I want to do. Anyways, <laughs> I'll be back. All right, quick check-in for the foundation. Let me come close so you guys can see. Dang, I am so impressed, you guys. I haven't been so impressed with the foundations that I've tried recently. This is really, really good. I mean, we're only four, four and a half-ish hours in right now. If I weren't doing a wear test, I probably would like to powder my forehead a little bit, but I did heavily powder here. Well, not heavily, but I powdered more here than I did my forehead, and it's holding up better. The only thing, the only flaw so far I've noticed with this foundation foundation is it sinks randomly into my smile lines very very quickly I mean I'm talking 20 minutes into where I noticed it kind of sinking in which is so odd because it looks so amazing everywhere else I don't notice any sinking into my lines on my forehead or anything like that it's just these and if I weren't doing a wear test I'd just rub them out but very odd flaw here I mean it's not the cutest that it's really emphasizing <laughs> my smile lines I think to fix that I I'd probably put a little bit of concealer over it and maybe heavily powder just because this formula doesn't like my smile lines. But other than that, I mean, my skin looks freaking great. I really like it. It doesn't look weird on my nose yet. It hasn't collected oil around my nose. Just the smile line thing. But other than that, I'm really excited about this foundation. I am gonna try and walk on my treadmill or do something movement-wise so that we can see how it holds up with a little bit of heat. I can't wait till I move to Florida, you guys, because my foundation reviews are gonna be the truth when that comes because it's cold in Maryland, it's dry, and I sit on my butt all day. <laughs> all right, anyways, I'll check up with you guys in a, in a few hours. It is about 11 o'clock, so we have been wearing the foundation for eight hours. 
Oh, it looks so good. Here is a close up. Now it doesn't look as good as when I first applied it, but eight hours later, I think it looks pretty dang good. You can definitely see my forehead is the area that got the most shiny. I just don't think I powdered it down enough to begin with. The biggest flaw that this foundation has is the smile lines and everything else looks so good that I'm looking past it. But if I'm being completely honest, it's not a good look. <laughs> Like, I wish it wasn't by smile. <laughs> it's just not cute to look in the mirror and see this. Uh, but let's take that away. It looks freaking amazing. I can see, though, at this 8-hour point, it's going to start breaking down a little bit around the mouth area, which is what happens first. But, oh my gosh. I, I need to do side-by-side -side wear tests with uh, some of the other foundations that I've tried recently that I've been loving. This one is towards the top though, if not my favorite. I'm not sure which is number one, what's my head. So I'm gonna have to do a side-by-side -side wear test, but this is like my favorite of the, the two Dior's, the Charlotte Tilbury. Was there another one? Oh, and the Jaclyn, but that you know that one's last. <laughs> Between all of those, I think this was my favorite everyday style foundation. I just think it looks so beautiful and smooth. I mean, you can see like my pores are kind of there, but it's not anything I don't feel uncomfortable with. I love this foundation. I think it's really, really great. I'm excited to continue using this. Application tips I have for you. Apply with a brush, set with a little bit of powder, and you should be good to go. It's an awesome foundation. I'm a huge fan. Okay, let me blend this out. <laughs> You see how much better that looks? The only thing is I just wish those smile line things didn't happen. Okay, I'm going to put on a little bit of powder so we can test how that would look. Oh, it looks good as new. I'm stoked. This foundation is awesome. Definitely recommend this. And like I said, I have not been loving the foundations that NARS has been coming out with these last couple of years. This one... I had a feeling about it. I did. Oh, new makeup excites me. Okay, guys, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video. And stay tuned. Now that I've tried this, I'm going to spend a couple other days testing and comparing the foundations. And I will have a ranking of all of these new babies up sometime next week. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.